Hello and welcome to the next video in our flow rhythm series. In today's video we're going to look at using uh, simple functions with inside flow rhythm. The first thing we need to look at or to talk about is what is a function. Two words get used here quite often, functions and procedures. The biggest difference in a function and a procedure is that a function must return a value where a procedure doesn't return a value. So if you're going to do something where it produces an output, doesn't return any value, then you can use a procedure and you can call that procedure. If you're going to do something that declares a that returns a value, produces an answer that's returned back to the main program, then we're going to use a function and we'll assign that returned value to a variable. So let's get started with a, with a simple example. I'm going to work um, through a, a real basic example using a function to work out the exterior angle um, of a polygon. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a variable. I'm going to create a, a variable called angle. And I'm going to uh, make this for real. I'm going to prefix this with the word global. Any variable you declare inside your main scope is global and can be seen by all parts of your program including your functions. Next thing I'm going to do is declare another variable and I'm going to call this global sites and that's going to be an initial for the number of sites. I'm going to ask for the number of sites Please enter number of sites, and I'm going to assign global angle equals. I'm going to create a function in a minute called exterior angle. I'm going to pass it the variable global sites. I can then have my output which will be the exterior angle is and then ampersand global angle. Now I need to create my function, so new function. I'm going to call this function um, x angle, making sure it matches this, and I'm going to send it a parameter, and the parameter I'm going to um, give it here it obviously will be size. I'm going to call this local size because this variable here this is a local version of what's been passed from main. I'm going to return the real value and the value I'm going to return is going to be xd is going to be e angle. Call that. Let's just do that. Local e angle. Oops. Just copy that for later. Okay. So now what I need to do is create my function. So I'm going to create a variable and local e angle. It's real. Do my calculation. So local E angle equals 360 divided by sites which we brought in which was local sites and then I'm returning the angle. So when it's called it'll pass in sides will become local sides. Declared a variable here that's 360 divided by the local sides. It's returned the local angle. It's back to main 
local angle gets returned back into it that becomes the global angle variable here the main one and then we output it so let's run it see what happens oh dear me right okay spelling mistake global angle global sides got a spelling mistake somewhere let's just run that again global side size was not initialized oh I didn't take an input in what a wally enter number of sides input global sides there we go so if I run that enter number of sides five sides let's do something simpler four sides enter exterior angle is 90 degrees so that's correct nice if we said degrees after that wouldn't it so let's just change that ampersand degrees and again 5 72 degrees space missing there again let's just fix that run it again much better exterior angle is 72 degrees so let's look at how it's working again two variables here two global variables for our main and our main scope asking for the global variable angle global variable angle is equal to the exterior angle sending it the sides so the 5 gets sent over appears in this local variable local sides new variable here local angle is calculated using local side the angle is returned appears in this variable here and that's the variable that we're printing hopefully that makes some sense to you in our next video we'll look at how we can uh, add in a second function that we're going to call from within inside this function to actually produce both the exterior angle and the interior angle